Hey guys, we're back with another uh, video. Uh, this was from the last video. If you didn't watch it, check it out. It will be uh, in an annotation about now. Um, so yeah, in this video what we're going to be doing is uh, basically making an end card or an outro fit in with the clip. And I'm going to be using serif, but to quite honest with you, it doesn't really matter what you use. Um, as long as you do pan and crop uh, with this box. So, um, you want to save your file. You want to save as a file. Um, it has to be saved as. Okay, and um, so I'm going to save it as end card tutorial. And before you save it, you want to say save as type and then you want to go with PNG. And save. And now I've got that saved. Uh, almost. <laughs> so now I've got that saved. You want to go and flatten. And it will start flattening it. And then you want to go into your uh, your movie making machine thingy. And you want to import it. So I'm going to import it through this. It doesn't really matter what you use. All of them are pretty much the same. Uh, end card last vid. Okay, this is a different one. But it doesn't matter. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to also import some some footage or something. Uh, what's this? Let's import some of this. File and use. Okay, maybe not then. Let's import some of our Slender that we did. Uh, okay, so Slender YouTube. Open that up. Okay. So, I just want to import that. So, import your clip that you want to use. And I'm just going to cut a section out of it for tutorial purposes. So, I'm going to split it there. And I'm going to split it there. Cause I already put an end card on this one. Uh, but, yeah. So, you don't have to do this. So, you, you edit your clip how you want it. And so here's my clip. And yeah, so this is when we played Slender. Okay, and say if I wanted to end it, but I wanted to end it for another video, you would just drag in your end card thing. And if you have overlay track on your um, movie making thing, you want to put that on there. It's also the same as a photo or something like that. You want to drag it out a little bit so it gives a little bit of time to click on things. And now it should look a bit like this, just a still image. Uh, so to put the video inside the square, uh, what you need to do is we're going to use the same one actually because it's easier. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it, but you want to import it, and um, and then you want to put it underneath in the video track. And uh, you might not be able to see it because it's quite a dark video actually. Oh, there you go. You can see it. In the square up there, uh, but that's already because I set it before. So if I go into import media, so if you go into import media, and then you pick a video, I'm gonna pick. Oh god, I'm going everywhere. Uh, so yeah, pick a video. I'm gonna find mine. Uh, I'm gonna pick a tutorial we did. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is the cool text tutorial. I'm going to pick this one. Open that. So now if I put this in, if it lets me, yeah, if, if I put this in, uh, I want to edit it so how I want it. I'm just going to trim it a little bit. Uh, doesn't really matter where I get it. So now, you want to make sure it fits in nicely. And what you'll see is this. Um, if you have a preview, it will be in like the background. Uh, that's completely normal, don't worry. Uh, I actually have a letterbox. Uh, not the letterbox, but I have something chosen so it doesn't stretch it out. So um, all these here are wrong. And it's not fitting in the square properly. Uh, so normally um, it uses a pan and zoom. That's normally what it's called. So yeah, that was the Slenderman. And then it goes straight into it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, if you go on pan and zoom, 
which I don't know where it will be for you. But on this software, um, you, it's slightly different. So you want to click on your uh, your thingy, your video that you want to put in the uh, thingy, and then you want to click on the attributes. You want to click on uh, transform, and there we go. Now you want to do is you want to drag it so it's inside there. And then you can literally change it and how it is. Uh, this is only with Serif. It's a completely different thing otherwise. It's pan and zoom. Guys, remember that. So now you can put it in the little square like that. So there we go. That's the first bit. So now you've got that. So if I go on to the end of this clip. And there we go. It's inside the box. So now... Although it's all great and everything, you might want to import a voice. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I haven't actually recorded one. Um, but when it's finished, uh, go ahead and... Yeah, it's done. So now, you've finished, basically. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or things, because I know this is a bit tricky, um, just DM me or uh, create a video response and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out our last video, which will help with this video. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, yeah, so uh, click it. Check out the last video. Go, now, yeah.